I said at the end of the last lesson that I was going to talk about selecting text next, but I've changed my mind. Instead, it makes more sense to talk about cursor movement first because selecting text builds upon this skill. I'll admit right now that this is not a very exciting topic, but if you don't know how to jump around your document with the keyboard and tend to stick to your mouse, this is a good thing to learn. Unfortunately, there are some significant differences between using a Mac and a Windows machine. So I'll explain the things that are different on a Windows machine at the end. The next lesson will be filmed on my PC so you can see the differences in action then. I do say unfortunately because as someone who works on both platforms there is some definite confusion for me when I switch between the two. Hopefully I'll not mess up too much as I film this. I'm working in the brackets course project and opening pc.html. I'm turning live preview on. I'm actually going to copy in the full gist that I have linked to in the lesson notes instead of typing since we're dealing with arrow keys in the shortcuts and that will be easier. Also, I will have sections for both operating system shortcuts instead of just the Windows since they are so different. Okay, I know that you really don't need these first four shortcuts because even the most novice computer user can understand what the arrow keys do, but it helps to see the pattern for the other shortcuts. It's the rest of the shortcuts I want you to make sure you understand and know. It can save you a lot of time to move around your code when you know them. If I hold the Alt or Option key down and use the right and left arrows, I can move my cursor to the next word or group. Words are delimited by spaces and also non-alpha characters. Now remember I'm talking about Mac computers only right now. These shortcuts will not do the same thing on a Windows machine. I'll get to that shortly. If I hit the command key plus the right or left arrows, I'll move the cursor to the end or beginning of the current line. Next, if I hit command plus the up arrow, I'll get to the beginning of the file. And if I hit command plus the down arrow, I'll go to the end. If your keyboard has a home and end key, those should work as well instead of the arrow keys. But I don't have those keys on my keyboard. Finally, I want to mention that you can scroll up and down with the keyboard by hitting Ctrl plus Alt plus the up or down arrow keys. Now, on Windows machines, some of these shortcuts are very different. To jump to the words, you have to use the Ctrl key instead of Alt, because Alt plus the arrow keys will take you to the beginning and end of the line. So those two groups of shortcuts are using opposite keys on Windows and Mac. And that's what causes me the most grief when I switch computers. To get to the beginning or end of the file, I use Ctrl plus Home or Ctrl plus N. Scrolling is easier on Windows. You can just hold the Ctrl key and use the up and down arrows. If you learn these shortcuts, you can get around your code more quickly, so they can be pretty helpful. Also, once you know these shortcuts, you can easily start to select text by adding the Shift key. I'll be talking more about selecting text in the next lesson.